Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Sarah and this is a coloring book review uh, flip through for Manic Botanic. Uh, here is the illustrator. This is the front of the book. This is the back of the book. Uh, the dimensions for this book are eight and a half by eleven. Here is the spine. And this is the thickness of the book. Let me start my flip through here. I flipped through this book. I have not yet colored in this book. Um, the pages in here are just like copy paper, uh, printer paper. Um, I would say colored pencils are the best bet for this book, especially if you don't have um, a piece of paper uh, between the page behind and the page that you're coloring. Um, if you do that, um, I would think gel pens would work as well. Uh, fine liners, if you have a couple pieces of paper back here, not just one, should work okay. Um, it will bleed through on the back of the page, of course, but it won't bleed to the picture on the other page if you've got some pages between. It will also stop the ink from coming from page to page off this page. So here is my flip through. Again, a lot of the books I choose to buy are ones that I have watched other reviews on and have really um, appreciated the creativity of the illustrator. This book does not let me down at all. I really like this book. Um, even though it has a floral theme, there are lots of hidden things in these books. Um, not a seek and find kind of hidden, but as you color, you will find um, little caterpillars, birds, uh, moths, bees. Um, just different things that they have stuck everywhere on these pages. Um, it just does not disappoint me at all. Um, the pictures are fairly cute. Um... I like that there's an animal theme along with the floral theme. This is one of my favorite pictures out of this book. Let me go ahead and do the flip through. It looks like a lot on the page. Um, almost anxiety provoking uh, for some people, but um, it is really nicely done and there is plenty of room, plenty of space for you to get in there and get coloring the colors you want, the way you want to do it. Um, it's all here and ready for you. Very nicely thought out book, put together very well. I like how it gives you an edge around the pictures, um, so there's no need to have to worry about if you can get into the crease or not with your colors. Um, all the pictures do have an edge around them. I really appreciated that. That's nice. It's a feature not done in many of the coloring books. This is the other one I really like. Um, lots of room for background colors here. Great for anybody who likes to work with um, even 
the chalk pastels or soft pastels um, would work great in, in this book as well for these backgrounds. This is the only picture that does not have the border around it, but I thought it was a neat picture regardless. And they do give you a test page here in the back. So again, this is Manic Botanic, a uh, tension taming coloring book. And the illustrations here are from this person. Thank you for watching. And again, as always, happy coloring.